Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. What do I have for you guys again today? Well, the delivery numbers came out, so I had to rush and do a quick short video for you guys. This is not going to be a long video, but by no means will it be lackluster. <laughs> so what happened? Let's start with this. Neo delivered 10,055 cars down 44% from December. Uh, Xpeng delivered 8,250 cars down 59% from December. So we outsold Xpeng yet again. Now, in all honesty, Xpeng had to shut down the factory for like 20 days, something like that, for retooling for the, I think it's the um, multi-purpose vehicle that they're getting ready to launch. Nevertheless, we outsold them uh, last month as well, even though they did not shut down the factory. And what we also have to take into consideration is this time of the year, just like last year, um, delivery numbers were down. However, listen to this. The beginning, the beginning of the year is usually a low point for cars sales in China due to seasonal factors. Neo deliveries in January included 6,307 SUVs and 3,748 sedans. Neo, Neo saw a dip in deliveries in January compared to December affected by seasonal factors like, like most of its local peers. So this is something that happens every year and we knew it was coming. However, there was a difference this year. The company delivered 10,055 vehicles in January up, up 18.21% from 8,506 a year ago. Excuse me, guys. Let me say that again. The company delivered 10,055 vehicles in January up. 18.21% from 8,506 a year ago. So the deliveries included 6,307 SUVs and 3,748 sedans. Neo said without mentioning delivery figures for specific models. So <clears throat> we all know the company unveiled its exec executive flagship sedan, the ET9 on Neo Day. 2023 and began pre-sales with delivery set to begin in first quarter of 2025. Uh, we all know that this was coming, that the delivery numbers will be down, but no one expected us to keep out selling Xpeng except us. We expected that. And why did we expect that, guys? We expected that because, like we talked about it in one of my previous videos, when King William Lee drove that ET7, that super beautiful luxury car that we have, showcasing the safest battery in the world that we invented, the semi-solid state battery, going over a thousand kilometers, and it was showcased on Tencent um, Weibo, the, the, that's their version of Facebook, and WeChat, <clears throat> all over social media, Tencent News carried it. We knew that it was going to bring recognition. And then on Neo Day, when we showcased the ET9 that made the West marvel at it and look at it with awe but pretended they just talked about it. Oh, yeah, you know, Neo showcased their 89 model and blah, blah, and they've moved on to another subject. This is how they play the game in the West. But in China, people were seeing this and was like, wow, amazed by it, shocked by it. We knew that our delivery numbers will start picking up. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. When we release that sub-brand, because remember right now, Two, it takes about two Xpeng sales to equal one Neo because of the price point. We're high end. 
and yet we're outselling them. So what do you guys think will happen when we release, I keep saying it's released the sub brand this year, possibly in the first half, possibly right after the Chinese holidays. We don't know what's up King William Lee sleeves. What do you guys think will happen when we continue to build out the battery swap stations this year? We see how many, and I'm going to leave the link again in the comment section for you guys. We see how many people are using these battery swap stations and how much revenue we're going to get for, from them. But it's more than just revenue. The people are not seeing the big picture. And I'll say it again. A lot of people in China live in apartments in, in the cities and they don't have access to charging. So as we continue to build out these battery swap stations, these people now have access to buying a battery swapping, uh, uh, sorry, an EV. This is part of the big picture to get them away from the gas guzzling polluting cars. But also people are going to realize more than ever when the other EV companies, when they buy EVs from the other EV companies and the battery is worthless and the car is worthless after about eight years, they will never go back to those brands and they're going to come to Neo. So listen to this, guys. <clears throat> Neo was down 17% in one day when Convertible Note's potential future share offering was announced. 17%. And we're going to see a 17% surge now that Neo paid cash. Listen to this. To repurchase some CN preventing dilution, convertible notes preventing dilution two years ahead of schedule. Ah, <sighs> boy. <laughs> Let me say that again. Neo was down 17% in one day when convertible notes potential future share offering was announced. And we're going to see a 17% surge now that Neo paid cash to repurchase some convertible notes preventing dilution two years ahead of schedule. Are we growing? Are we making money? Are we doing what we're supposed to do as a company? Or are we just focusing on the share price? Not me, not me, not my subscribers. We're focusing on what the company is doing. This was on, global, on Globe Newswire and I have to thank my subscriber, Moses, for this. This was on Global Newswire, Globe Newswire, sorry. Neo Incorporated announced completion of the repurchase right offer of its 0% convertible senior notes due 2026. In 2026, these notes were due, guys. The, see, he went on to say the shorts always use FUD and dilution, bankruptcy, delisting, etc., etc. Remember that? They use war. Oh, we're going to, China might attack Taiwan soon. <laughs> so often when they have nothing to talk about, that's what they say. To control the market and make people sell their shares, do your own research and don't fall for fake fraudulent antics. I keep saying this, do your own research. The analysts are going to come out and say, oh, you know, uh, this is bad. We give them a $5 rating, $8 rating. Really? Really? Okay. Some people commented recently, he said that m and made them lost money. He says, I see the opposite. Again, do your own research. If you are investing because of some fake analyst fraudulent price target or video of a random guy on YouTube, I'm sorry. Take your money to the store or better still to the club and enjoy yourself instead. <laughs> so he's absolutely right. I'm here to just give you guys the news that's coming out and I'm telling you what I'm doing. However, I keep saying <clears throat> that I'm going to keep buying. In fact, today I'm going to buy 10 more shares when the market opens. Because when the negative Nancys, the trolls, the shorts come out to panic us, fear us, the anti-Chinese rhetoric, the racist animals, I buy more. They give me more conviction. What are they doing for you? And I'm not selling it. I'm holding it from the shorts. I started this movement and I'm going to keep it going. 
So I hope you guys found this video to be informational, but also inspirational. If it did that for you guys, like I've always said, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. Let's, this is, this way, YouTube will continue to populate it and bring more awareness to Neo, but also the channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where we get rich or we die trying, guys.